What's up, what's up, aloha, this is iLadyPod, and um, this video is going to be about how to get GBA games working on your Apple Touch 2G. You do not need a computer for this, because I'm going to give you a source for the ROMs, and um, how to get your your uh, emulator working. So first off, make sure your Apple Touch is jailbroken. Uh, look at my favorites for this. If you don't have your Apple Touch jailbroken, look at my favorites and um, look for that Ty's iPhone help. I'm, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna give a link for the jailbroken. He has a really good, simple tutorial, quick and easy. Well, not really that quick, depending you know on your computer and what you have. But anyway, check out his video because his jailbreak uh, tutorial was really simple and straight to the point. And um, here we go. I'm gonna go to my city. So first you go to Cydia. I mean, I have my Cydia in my thing. Go to Cydia. And I'm using the eraser theme. Eraser 2 theme. It's pretty good. It's pretty nice and simple. So let the loading data load. And first off, I'm going to have you add sources after this thing loads. Um, you, don't, you do not need open SSH to put ROMs because I have a source for that. Hopefully the source is going to still be around right now. So first off, uh, sorry, first off you go to your manage to add the sources down here as you can see. You go to sources to add sources. I already have all of these sources added for your Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color or Super Nintendo games. And I already have it added. I have the source thingy um, link written down in this description so check it out there. So to add a source, if you do not know how to do that, you go to edit up here and you click add right here. Then you type in the thing. So one of them is going to be http colon forward slash forward slash. It's already added there. And you type in gba.iromrepo.com. I got it in the description. You don't have to worry about listening to my voice if I can't pronounce it or whatever, right? And for the, the Game Boy Color one is http colon forward slash forward slash slash, sorry, gba.iromrepo.com, I'm sorry, forward slash. And um, make sure you have the forward slash at the end. I don't know, maybe that's a big deal. I also have the Super Nintendo source in the description if you have the SNES thing. But I'm not going to talk about that. This is basically GBA. So uh, as you added that, you go to your section, let, let it reload if it says, like, after you put your sources, let it reload. Well, after that's done, you go down to your sections, right here, you see the sections? Go down and go to iROM apps. You click iROM apps, and you get GBA BIOS. This is required to use GPS phone. I should have went to GPS phone first, but for now, we're going to go to GBA BIOS. So you click on GBA BIOS. You need this so that your actual emulator will work and you go click install I don't know what that link box is I think it's some advertisement so anyway you click confirm let it download it it's downloading right now and by the way guys I'm using my stand that I just recently made I, it's really convenient I have two hands free oh it's also downloading GPS phone I think right I think it's doing that let it reload the data I think it just downloaded it too I don't know I hope it did, so I don't have to go through that. Let me check. Um, if your thing didn't also download the GPS phone, uh, let's check if it did. I don't. I don't think so. It did. Did it? Oh, it did. I have it. Let me check in my packages. GPS phone. Where are you at? Where? Sorry. GPS phone. Oh yeah, it downloaded with the GBA BIOS because it needed it. I should have done that first like straight off the bat but okay we got that so we have the application I know it's in our home screen if you want proof just let it refresh respring it's gonna re I think I have it in my games hold on I have I had it already it should be in your home screen but before I had it I had it in my categories right there GPS phone I already it automatically went there so make sure you have that it's in your screen it Probably might be a different um, icon, but I know you have it, unless you did it wrong. So you got that. You go to your Cydia, again, to download the ROMs. Um, the source I gave you included the ROMs also, so that's a big plus for you, because you don't have to do the open SSH kind of thing, 
or go to virus websites with the ROMs or whatever, or ROMs that don't work. You know what I mean? I mean, I hate to go through the hassle, you know. I uh, go to sections. See, as you can see here, you have your iROM Game Boy or iROM GBA or iROM Super Nintendo um, kind of sections. And um, I also have the Super Nintendo, as you can see if you want to use that too. So let's look for a game you go to, you have your Game Boy or your GBA. Also, most of this, the GBA games are not from the, for the Game Boy for iPhone, which is from ZOTTD. And I don't, what I don't like about ZOTTD, about his stuff for the ROMs, for the Game Boy Color, um, it really got me to stuff that you're, you're forced to donate to get the ROM which makes no sense at all. Like, you're basically buying it from him. They're just saying donate, you know, with the little quotes in the side. So be careful of him unless you really want to donate. Or you or you could just actually take the time to do open SSH. So anyway, let's go back to the video. I'm going to look for GBA games. They're all free. You don't, you're not forced to donate. Let's, if try, you know. let's try Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. So you click that, oh, I hate this list box. Is this some kind of, like, advertisement or something in City now? I hate it. People start making their own thing for free. Everyone loves it. Then later on, they get money hungry, if you know what I mean. So anyway, you have that loaded up. You have installed. We have some information here. I don't know. You click install. You click confirm. And let it download. It might take a while because it's pr probably a big file, especially for Pokemon. I should have gotten something cheaper. All right, guys. This may take a while. I'm going to... Uh, let this camera run actually and kind of and during this process when we speed up um as you can see the files are kind of moving about I don't know I was kind of talking in between the thing because I knew I'm gonna fast forward this the part before me and maybe you might hear my voice doing weird stuff real quick so anyway you let it reload the data before you click this button because you don't want to lag it out and freeze it and crash it so let it reload the data and when it says return to city without that reload data thing you go to return to city and after you get your ROM you go to your uh, application my application is in my games application area because I'm using categories yours is probably in the home screen unless you know some kind of thing. So I have GPS phone, that's the icon for me because I have a theme. Yours is like a Game Boy Advance looking thing, the purple one. So you click your thing, you have your GPS phone, you have Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red, I got that. Landscape. You click Good it. Job. The screen is still going to be small. Oh, there you go, it's going to work. It's going to work. So, so yeah, you have, let me take out my, my, my stand. So you have this whole thing. Um, I hope this works for you. You can just click start. This is your little screen. You have the little buttons. You got the menu actually over here to save it. You could save. Um, I hope this helps you without using your computer. Oh, let me lower down the volume. So yeah, I have the game here. So yeah, comment, rate, subscribe, check out my other videos, especially for my little stand video. Um, you know, Jailbreak and Apple Touch is pretty much worth it. You just got to do it right, and you got to be patient. Um, so see you later. Peace. Um, check out my other videos. I'm going to try to come out with other videos whenever I can, especially with cases. I need cases. All right, see you later.